based on conversation with the National Weather Service, based on our field review, talking to the foreman. What you see today is what you're going to see tomorrow. You are not going to see drastic road improvements. Uh, temperatures, again, are going to be at or near zero. Uh, single digits throughout the day. So what you see is what you get is a snowpack road. Hopefully the lake effect snow bands aren't as intense as they are today. So again, we can get more of that accumulated snow off the road anticipating warmer temperatures on Friday. There are 90 plus trucks on the road basically between 4 a.m. and 4 p.m. We will have approximately 35 people on the state highways. They work from 6 to 6 so we actually have some double coverage between 4 and 6 both in the morning and at night. Today are trying to make one pass down each and every street within the county includes the county primaries, state trunk clients, and neighborhood streets. Over 5,500 miles, lane miles, total roadway. So it's not something that we're gonna get across in a short amount of time. Now here's a good indication on a primary road. There's no accumulated snow in the road. The shoulders are pushed back. The water can drain off the road when it rains this weekend. Again, slippery, yes but very drivable because there's no accumulated snow, making them safe at 30 or 35 miles an hour. Today, with the low temperatures, high winds, significant lake effect snow, we are putting very little de-icing chemical down. What we are putting down is a mixture of sand and salt. The idea there is that the salt will start to activate, kind of burn in, and the sand will stick to the road obviously giving people some traction. We need to scrape that to the edge and we need to wait until temperatures get at least in the mid to upper teens before we start thinking about de-icing the state trunk lines and the county primaries. This is an example of sand salt mix. This is a very steep hill coming down to a stop T intersection. That's where we're going to apply that sand salt mix. You, you just see it because it's a little bit brown. Again, environmentally, we can't melt off all the ice hard pack that's on every residential street. Neighborhood streets like you see that we're driving on right now are going to remain hard packed. And we'll continue to scrape off that blue snow. We'll put some de-icing chemical with sand at the stop signs. But Mother Nature's going to have to take care of the rest. Again, environmentally, we can't melt off all the ice hard pack that's on every residential street. If you've been at work all day and you come home after eight or ten hours, the road may not look any better or could in fact look worse than what it did when you left, but it doesn't mean we weren't there. It means we were there, we scraped it, and the snow and the blowing snow has covered up everything we did. But we still had success because had we not touched it, it would have been accumulated. The three or four inches we scraped off this morning would have been added to today, and maybe you couldn't get home. You can see the blowing and the snowing, but yet there's no accumulated snow in the road. That's because our 90 plus trucks have been out all day long removing that snow from the road to make a reasonably safe road for the motorists to drive on.